specifically, I'm going to be talking about a project called Open Aerial Map. And I'm going to give you some background to start. This image is of Typhoon Haiyan right before it hit the Philippines at the end of last year. At the time, it was the strongest typhoon ever on record. This is an image from Digital Globe with a half meter resolution uh, take, a satellite uh, taken from space of the before. You see there's houses and there's roads. And if we wait a moment, we're going to see the after, see that there's significant change. Imagine if you're a humanitarian responder and you need to get an aid truck somewhere to provide relief. Having those two images to know what's changed, where your truck can go, is vital. You can also do a damage assessment from this. And by taking satellite imagery, you can start making other digital project products. And they can go down to tablets, like the Red Cross here responding in the Philippines, printed maps as well. But you need that base. Uh, here's another case. This is uh, Port-au-Prince in Haiti in 2010. This is OpenStreetMap. People use satellite imagery to trace information to create the most detailed a map available at the time for response to the earthquake. Right now, there's a severe Ebola outbreak in West Africa. This is the uh, city of Maumu. And you can take this information, and you can ask volunteers to digitize on top of it so you know where roads are, how many buildings there are. You can do a population count. You can send community health workers to go do surveys to make sure you covered where the sick people are. This is vital. And by taking this information, you can then get more detailed information, not just from space anymore, but also from the ground. These are students from the University of Lubumbashi in the Democratic Republic of Congo. They're printing out maps that started as satellite information, then were digitized, and they're going to collect road information so they can determine when to respond to a cholera outbreak. So open aerial maps have been around a long time, since 2006. 2006 was when the first Where 2.0 O'Reilly conference happened, when Introduction to Neo Geography came out. And the idea was a distributed, open, searchable system to hold imagery. And by imagery, I mean things that are geo-referenced. It has a place on the Earth. And by taking this, people can use it not for environmental causes, for humanitarian response. So 2014, what's happened? There's a little bit of code out there, but it was one of those projects that never really took off. But we desperately need it. So let's go back to 2006. Uh, pretend these bunnies are satellites. You got a couple of really expensive bunnies, billion dollar bunnies out there, taking all these pictures from space. Fast forward to 2014. You have tons of them. You have kites, you have balloons, you have drones, you have aircraft, and then you have satellites. And some of them are getting a lot cheaper. Um, so you have a lot more imagery available. And you get these questions. I made this imagery. I flew my quadcopter. What, I want to share it. It's of a really important area. I don't know what to do with it. Uh, then you have other types of questions. Uh, for example, the US government Last year launched a new satellite called Landsat 8. All of that imagery is released into the public domain. But what do you do with terabytes of data if you're just a little bunny? And how do you make it so other people can use it? This is a really hard problem. So we've been fortunate that we did a proposal to the Humanitarian Innovation Fund, which is a grant-making facility that allows individuals and organizations to work on solving and identifying problems in humanitarian response. And we said, we need imagery. It needs to be open source, distributed, and we need to use open data. Right now, imagery is often released after a disaster, but you can't go to one place and say, I'm at this spot, what's available? And you, back to, you're not sure where to really put it. So we actually aren't really far. There's some, some code from a couple years back we have sort of a design, um, but we're starting the process of thinking through things on a high level before going into the technical level, because we don't want to make it confusing. Right now, this is how it looks if you need to go find a satellite image. You go dig around on a bunch of different corporate websites, on government websites, who knows what you're going to find, and multiple people do this. So if this was interesting to you, we're just getting started. We have some information on GitHub. Um, and look up uh, Open Aerial Map. Thank you.